All right, what's going on, everybody? It's Pi Guy back again, and I wanted to cover an issue I came across with. Um, once you have Kodi installed on your Retro Pi, uh, trying to get it out of there and get back to a fresh start if you want to do a totally new build or update the base underlying Kodi underneath the build, um, it's a little tricky. You can't just go into your Retro Pi menu and remove it from your packages and reinstall it. Remember, it's what you did. So it's really not too hard, um, but you have to know what you're doing. So just to give you guys an idea, I'll hop into my current Kodi build right now. All right, and this is a Team ZT build. Um, really big on these builds. They're always high quality, and those guys are they are just a good uh, group of people over there. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> you can see this is really old. This is a lighter build. I don't know exactly what this... I, I really can't remember. This is old. Um, and a lot of the add-ons don't work anymore, and it's just no good. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick heads up on what this is. I'm going to go to um, exit right now. Back in my Cody menu, I'm going to hop over to my attractive mode menu and go into retro pie setup. You guys are going to want to do this. Now, here's the other thing if I just um, were to uninstall and reinstall, I'd still be on the same Cody um, version, which I think this was like 17.2 or 3. I really can't remember. Um, it's up to 17.6 now, and 18 is around the corner. But um, you could see it says version, retro pie version, script version is 4.2.8. The script is, is way past, it's like 4.3 point, I don't even know at this point. It, it updates pretty frequently, so that there are some major updates that are not on the current script I have. Um, and you can see it says it was last updated eight months ago. So this is definitely an old image. Um, so to get Cody clean, we're going to want to update our script. But first things first, we need to make it forget um, what we did. So basically you wanna hop into manage packages, optional packages, and just hop down to Kodi. Um, it's right after all these LR emulators. And on this script, it's gonna be number 309. It might be different on a newer script. I really can't remember. So just keep your eyes open um, and go ahead and just remove it real quick. And it only takes a moment or so. All right, so when you remove it, it takes all right, maybe more than a, a little bit. It takes like maybe two minutes or something like that. Anyway, so we're back here um, in the Cody screen. You just want to escape out of this. And all the way back out to attract mode. And now what I want you to do is make sure you have a keyboard plugged into your Pi. Um, once you do that, go ahead and press F4. or I'm sorry, in attract mode, you actually have to go ahead and press escape. It'll ask you if you want to exit attract mode, hit yes. If you're an emulation station, you can go ahead and press F4. All right, and now we are out of the front end. Um, so this is where it gets a little bit, it's really not bad, guys. It's just one line that we're going to type in here. I will put it in the description below. And, you know, if you guys want to get a little more fancy, you can also do this via SSH um, on your computer. Uh, but I just wanted to keep it as basic as I could. And it's just a little e easier to plug in a USB keyboard to your Pi. Um, so go ahead and type this line exactly as you see it. Case sensitive, space sensitive, everything. Um, it's going to be sudo space rm space hyphen r slash. Actually, we're going to do space slash opt slash retropie slash configs slash ports slash Cody. Go ahead and press enter and we should see there we go. So the fact, I know it didn't show something there, but the fact that the, the line popped up and didn't say invalid command, that means everything worked right. And basically what that did was remove the internal system memory of, of like everything we did with Cody. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and type in is exit, and that'll take us right back to whatever front end you were working out of, whether it was emulation station or attract mode. All right, let's get this boot up. So we're back in attract mode, and you know if you're out of emulation station, like I said, totally fine. 
Um, so we're gonna hop back in and what you can do if you're not patient, you can go ahead and reinstall Cody from the packages menu and it should be a totally clean, bare, like naked version of Cody, whatever that latest build was that came from your script. Um, in this case, um, you see when you're working with Cody, the wizards you're going to install are optimized for the most recent versions of Cody that, that the Cody team puts out. Um, so I highly recommend you do this next step. It does take time, but you don't have to sit at the computer. Do it right before you go to bed. It'll be done in the morning. It's going to take about like three, four hours or so, um, which is kind of crazy, but it's, it's good to do for your system all around, to be honest with you, and you get the latest features. We need to update uh, the script. So like I said, it's 4.2.8, but um, RetroPie is up to like 4.3 something. Uh, we'll find out shortly. So um, once you're in the RetroPie setup menu, um, go ahead and click on update RetroPie script. It's not gonna set it off yet. Um, are you sure you wanna update? Hit yes. <clears throat> All right, so what that did was it, like I said, it fetched the latest script. Didn't install anything yet, it just got it. Now you do need to be connected to the internet for this. Um, so whether it's Wi-Fi or Ethernet cable, um, definitely necessary, but if you're using Kodi, you probably are already online anyway. Um, so you can see the version is now 4.3.12. That's a pretty big jump from uh, the 4.2.8. Um, and that was just updated by the RetroPie team two days ago. Uh, now we need to install um, everything we just fetched to our existing packages on our system and that's where it's going to take several hours to complete <clears throat> so like i said do this before you go to work in the morning or you know right before you go to bed it'll take uh depending on how much you have installed it'll take uh at bare minimum two hours if not it'll you know more likely like around four so i'm going to go ahead and click on update are you sure you want to update installed packages yes Okay, we fetched the latest version. And this is where it starts. Would you like to update the underlying OS packages? Yes, you do. And walk away from the system for a while, let it do its thing, and we'll check back in when it's done. All right, so we are back. Um, like I mentioned, it takes several hours for it to update the full script, but it finally finished. It will finish, just gotta be patient, let it run, don't interrupt it. That'll mess everything up if you cut the power in between. Um, and like I said before, it's just good to update all your packages. You're, you're getting the latest features, they're fixing the latest, um, all the glitches and everything. Um, so it's always good to know how to do this in general, but um, I'm gonna hit okay here and it takes us back to our main RetroPie setup script. now. Um, in case it wasn't clear before, the main reason we want to do this <clears throat> is because once we update our packages, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to allow us to get the latest version of Kodi that's available for RetroPie. Um, so we're up to 4.3.12, like I mentioned before, and we're just going to reinstall Kodi right now. So go down to Manage Packages, Optional Packages, and page down a bit until you see Kodi. And install from binary. This will take, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds or so. All right, so Cody just finished installing. Uh, just go ahead and escape out of the RetroPie setup menu back into a track mode. All right, and I'm just going to go back to the main in a track mode. All right, and go down to Cody and go ahead and launch. All right, Cody Krypton 17.4 is launching now. So uh, Cody is actually up to 17.6, but 17.4 is the latest version available for Raspberry Pi, um, or for RetroPie, I should say. So this is definitely still going to work with the latest builds, and we'll go ahead and throw a build on there in case you guys aren't familiar with that process. It is a little different than a Fire Stick, uh, just an extra step involved. Um, so first thing we want to do is go up to the settings wheel at the top and go over to system settings. And what we're going to do is just enable unknown sources. 
and hit yes. We're not going to download anything harmful, so no worries. Uh, go into File Manager, and we're going to add a source. <clears throat> so again, for those of you guys that aren't familiar with this process, basically what we're doing, um, Cody has no content in it itself. It just organizes whatever content you pump into it. And it's also, it's also enabled for open source content, which means you can download what we're going to do here. We're going to download a free zip file from online. And once we unpack it, it's going to change the whole interface. It's going to be full of, uh, full of content, movies, TV shows, music, all that stuff. So um, what we're going to do is the um, Team ZT repo. So that is now HTTP colon slash slash repo zip dot zero tolerance dot GQ. All right, so go ahead and press OK when you're done typing. You have to type it exactly like that. If uh, you get an error message saying you can't connect the server, that means you have a typo. Just go back and double check. I will put this in the description below as well. And now we're going to give it a name. You can name it anything you want. Um, I would just recommend you throw a dot in front of it. It'll make it float to the top of the list we're going to use it at next. I'm just going to call mine .zt and press OK. And we're going to hit OK. Again, you get an error message, just double check your typing. Uh, so once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and escape out. Back to the main menu and scroll down to add-ons. And hop up to the little box at the top of the menu. That means open source, which is what we're doing. And we're going to install from zip, which is that zip file we just gave it in uh, pathway to. So you can see right here, whatever you named yours, if you put a dot in front, it's right at the top. Mine's uh, dot .zt. Go ahead and select it. And you're going to select the first option within the file. And sit back and wait a couple seconds. doesn't take too long. But you will see a, um, a pop-up here. It's going to prompt us what to do next. And there it is. Wizard installed. And there we go. So <clears throat> on some builds, you have to go to install from repository. In this case, you don't even have to. Um, just go ahead. This this is basically asking you some settings they want you want to do when you first set it up. I usually just leave this at default and go ahead and hit continue. And you want a build menu. All right, so next we're going to select, this is a list of all of the builds that Team ZT does. Uh, these are all high quality builds. Um, they just, they don't put out crap. They only put out good stuff. So um, usually I do uh, Marvel or Cryptics. I'll pick a random one here, to be honest. I haven't even tried everything. Um, let's say, let's go with, I like that you can see the little picture too, so you get a sample. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know. We'll go with Stranger Things. That was a good show. All right. And whatever build you select, you just want to go down to Fresh Install. So next it's going to prompt us. Do you want to restore? Just hit Continue. Um, you don't have to worry. And it should start doing its thing. So this is going to highly depend on your internet speed, your Wi-Fi. Um, shouldn't take too long. It's going to download first, and then it's going to install. Uh, it even gives you a nice ETA for the download. So just go grab a cup of coffee, walk away for a few minutes, and you'll be all set. All right, so the build just finished downloading and installing. Um, maybe like, you know, four minutes or so. Again, depends on your internet speed. Um, so anytime you install Cody build, you are going to have to force close it in order to put everything to effect. So go ahead and do that. Now, here is where it gets a little bit tricky on a Raspberry Pi versus a Fire Stick. Fire Stick, you just go right back into Cody and it works. On a Raspberry Pi, there's just one extra step into RetroPie setup and go down to manage packages, optional package, and we're going to uninstall Kodi. Um, 
it's kind of weird. I don't know why exactly that happens. Uh, some, some of you guys have told me that doesn't happen for you, but every time I've done it, it's happened for me. So we're going to remove and basically reinstall it when it's done. All right, so just finish uninstalling and just go ahead and click install from binary. All right, so we're just going to escape back out. Hop into Cody. Hey guys, do you see the... ZT has gone ahead and put in these uh, short video intros to each of their builds, which are pretty cool. They do get a little choppy because the add-ons are updating as the video is loading and everything's initializing. Uh, but it's pretty cool, pretty unique. It's cool because it's unique to each of their builds. And first time you run uh, a newly installed build, as you can see on the top left of the screen, everything is installing here. So go ahead and just give it like a, a solid five minutes to update everything. It's gonna update every single add-on available. Um, but all their builds are solid. Definitely recommend you check them out, figure out which one you like best. Now, I do wanna mention, I did update the entire script on here. If yours doesn't require an entire script update and you're already on the latest, you just wanna start fresh with your build, you can skip that step and, and just basically do everything else we went over in this video. Um, but if you have an older script, highly, highly recommend you go ahead and update, um, you update the entire script. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you guys for watching. Please, please, please hit that like button and do not forget to subscribe for some upcoming videos on how to's and, um, and honestly just some fun stuff I have coming up, including some reviews, um, and some other things that you find, just, you know, goofing around online. So, um, thank you again for watching guys. Take care.